Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Sonali. Welcome to a new vlog. I am going to be filming a Sunday reset video today because it is much needed, let me tell you. I have been traveling, I feel like, off and on for the past two months, and I'm finally back in Austin, back in my home for the next, like, good month. I think the next time I travel is, like, end of July. So I have, like, a good amount of time to get back into my routine and just enjoy home, enjoy the summer in Austin. So I'm really hyped about that. We actually just got back from Playa del Carmen to celebrate Ryan's birthday, and we're also celebrating a really exciting birthday today, which is Wayfair's 20th anniversary, and Wayfair is sponsoring today's vlog, which is so freaking exciting because I'm currently sitting on a Wayfair couch. And let me tell you, this couch brings me so much joy because I graduated college I think about three years ago now which is so weird because I don't feel like I'm that old but I guess I am and I knew that I wanted like a white sectional couch for my post-grad apartment and I was not going to settle for anything less and I think it was about two months before we moved into our apartment I saw this couch on Wayfair and I was like I need that couch. I ended up going shopping in stores just to see what was out there but nothing beat the price of this couch and like just like the way it looked i was being really picky on obviously the looks of the couch because you're gonna have it for so long it's an investment and you're gonna be using it all the freaking time especially because i got this couch before covid hit so like we were literally living on this couch every single day because me and ryan both worked from home when i first got the couch i actually did an unboxing on my channel i'm pretty sure that's like one of my most popular videos so i know you guys all like your white sectionals too so i'm gonna link this exact sectional in the description box of this video as well as some similar options on wayfair because they have a lot to choose from this current one is i think 110 inches wide um so they have like 150 inches wide you know so on and so forth and then also ones that are shorter if you guys are living in a more compact apartment they also have options for you last summer we moved into this new apartment and we did downsize a little bit because we wanted to be closer to the city and so this is i think 200 square feet less i believe and so our closets unfortunately took a big hit we had huge walk-in closets at the last apartment but now we don't have that much space so we did need to find a dresser and i went straight to wayfair and i do have like a couple other wooden pieces in this room so i wanted to try to match that as close as possible and i thought it was a pretty good match so here's the dresser and i really like it because it has these really cool like gold accents right here and you just pull it like this don't mind the mess this is actually something i need to be getting to today but this is my workout matching sets drawer um but it fits like a lot in here so it's pretty deep and it slides out really nicely i feel like a lot of drawers and dressers like sometimes they get like stuck and weird but this has not given us any issues unless obviously something's blocking it and this is why i need to clean out this drawer um but we'll get to that maybe a little bit later today. So since Wayfair is celebrating their 20th anniversary, they're going to be having some really, really good deals. So I definitely recommend to check out their website and also go follow them on Instagram where they'll be sharing more of the deals there. So to kick off this Sunday reset, I am going to prep some overnight oats. I shared that I was eating overnight oats on my stories and so many people asked me for the recipe. It's super freaking easy. And I feel like every time I go back home to Georgia, I get obsessed with some random snack slash meal that my my mom gives me I think last time it was sourdough and it's like specific vegan butter this time it is overnight oats because she made it for me and I was like this is actually like good and obviously like healthy and filling for you I'm gonna go through my toppings I like to add and they do kind of sound like weird at first especially if you don't like raisins or something but I swear they all go so well together so just trust me on this and let me know if you guys try it out first we're measuring out the oats we're just gonna do a cup of Okay, we just did a cup of oats. It is like a lot of oats, so if you want to just start by doing half a cup and just try it out, you can do that too. My mom gave me the recipe. She said two cups of milk. I think she said to one cup of oats, but it was way too much milk at first. So I just kind of like to eye it and just make sure everything's kind of like underwater, under the milk. And it's just kind of more of like a thick consistency. I honestly use whatever milk I have. I just ran out of my lactate milk, so I'm using oat milk today. Okay, next step is to add the chia seeds. And I feel like this is the key because it just makes you so much more full if you add this in. I mean, oats already do that, but I feel like chia seeds 
gives it a little bit of a boost. This is a larger spoon. I just couldn't find like a tablespoon, a regular tablespoon, but just do like a tablespoon of chia seeds. I guess you could add more technically. And you really can't even taste it. Like you see it, it definitely looks a little funky if you've never seen a chia seed before, but it's not like just drinking a chia seed and liquid because then you can really feel the texture. Um, and they'll kind of like puff up into these little like jelly thingies. I actually just googled it and it said that you could store these up to five days So if you wanted to make them on Sunday, you can make them through Friday um, I honestly didn't think I had enough milk or oats to do that So I'm just gonna make two days worth and probably get some more ingredients at the store Maybe today or tomorrow all mixed up. I love these little storage containers from Porter I just got them and I think they're so cute it makes just prepping food and storing food so much more fun. It's so cute. They'll go into my fridge overnight and I can just like take them out and eat them whenever I want. So now we'll go over the toppings that I like to put in them. I like raisins because it makes it a little bit sweet. My mom put in pecans and I'm not usually like a nut girl, but they tasted pretty good in them too. I love adding bananas to everything. So I'll definitely add bananas. Then when I was home, my mom did cut up grapes and that was also like an added sweetness and it was so freaking good. Oh, and then when I made it at home for the first time, I actually added in frozen mango, but I let it thaw for like an hour. If you're going to the gym, just like take it out of the freezer, put it in the sink, let it thaw out, and then it literally tastes like fresh mango. It's actually kind of insane. Time to put them in the fridge and then you can see how I assemble them in the next week in my life because I'll be eating them this week. One of the things that I was trying to get better at this year was to stop wasting food. And I feel like whenever I go to the grocery store, I always get those herbs like mint, basil. I'm like, oh, I'm definitely gonna need this. And I end up really not using much of it because it comes in such like big packets. Um, and I only need, you know, like a couple leaves here and there for my recipes. So I've been wanting to plant my own mint and basil plant they're already grown and you can get them at pretty much any grocery store so we're here we're gonna go get some plants and then we're gonna get some soil i bought these really cute planters that hang on the balcony we're gonna finally do that and cross that off my list and i'll finally have mint and basil to pick from and i won't feel bad about wasting it and i also have a third one so i i'm gonna decide if i want like rosemary or if i want to fill that planter with like flowers or something so we'll see We're back from the store. We went to Walmart and Trader Joe's um, because Walmart didn't have mint, the mint plant. They only have the sweet basil plant, but then Trader Joe's had an even bigger and nicer basil plant, but it wasn't sweet basil plant, but they also had mint, so we got all of them. And then we just got some stuff, so I thought I would just share with you guys what we got. So first off, Ryan loves these mm -hmm. peanut butter cups. These are Reese's Addict Reese's. What is it? I like to say Reese's don't come for me. Finally got the hash browns. I don't know why, but I never see them at Trader Joe's. So this time I was like trying to actively look for them. These ice cream sandwiches from Trader Joe's are so freaking good. Got a couple of frozen things, um, soup dumplings, and then this lamb vindaladu. I have some naan and I thought I would use that up. So I got some curry. And it's always nice to have like frozen Indian food because I, personally cannot cook Indian food yet. That is something I really wanna like try to teach myself and learn from like YouTube videos and my mom and my dad and family and stuff. But for now, frozen food it is. <laughs> These are the two plants I got from Trader Joe's. They are so long and full and I'm just so excited that I'm finally like gonna plant these. Um, oh shoot, where's that oak? This little one is what we found at Walmart and it's like almost like very wilted and sad, but it smells so good. This one, again, is sweet basil. Then Ryan decided that he wants burgers for tonight, so we just got a bunch of just meat and uh, tomato, onion, stuff like that. But this is the thing I wanted to show you guys from Walmart chicken taco seasoning. We literally got eight packets of these because I think HEB only carries the taco seasoning. I just wanted to get the chicken taco because I knew that's the one I liked. You can do so much with this, just like taco bowls or anything like that, but seriously, it's always good to have like packets like this. Last but not least, we did get some hydrangeas. This is definitely my go-to flower at Trader Joe's.
made a snack and then we watched some of the Kardashians show on Hulu. It is so much better than the original on E! And I used to love that show. This version shows a little bit more of like the business side of things. I just watched the one where Kim was on SNL and honestly, some people hate them but I admire their work ethic because they're always on the go and just like always doing shit and like making time for their family and I really just don't know how they do it all but that's just my opinion. I love them so much. I just got this package from Amazon. I thought it was time to organize all my necklaces. You will see them over here. They're pretty much all from Goriana and they have like an adhesive back to them. So I'm thinking that I could just hang them on this little door over there. So it's kind of like out of the way. It also comes with screws, but I'm definitely going to do the adhesive tape. It comes with four of these and there are two, four, six, 8, 10, 12 of like the little knobs. Then these are the little sticker things that you stick them with. They were just getting tangled a little too often. So I was like, I need to do something about this. The necklaces are done and organized back there, but I didn't quite think through the earrings, so I'm gonna have to figure that one out. But now it's time to organize the makeup. I have been like putting off buying like these kind of containers for so freaking long, but I was just so over it. And I've been living out of a makeup organizer, like a travel makeup organizer for a while. So I was like, this is probably a good time to finally get some organizers for the drawers. So I thought I was filming all of that, but I guess I wasn't. So this is kind of how it turned out. We have the eye stuff here, here, and here. Um, I should probably like reorganize all of this, but then we have powder products back here. Yeah, I feel like that's gonna be hard to get out. So we'll, we'll work with it, but we have the foundation, the cream products, everything like that in there, brushes, and then miscellaneous, and then just the lips over here my cozies took off my makeup because we are going to see Elvis and I'm the type of person if I'm going to the movies like I cannot be in like uncomfortable clothes or jeans or anything like that like I have to be in my sweatpants sweatshirt looking like a bum but maybe like a glazed donut so I thought we could do some skincare together I am very chapped since I took off my makeup just now and I'm just using the summer Fridays this lip butter balm but I got it like literally right before they changed the packaging and I'm honestly glad they did because this packaging like kind of low-key sucks um, but now we're gonna do some moisturizer this is like the travel size but this is the plump plump hyaluronic cream from glow recipe I love this stuff and I actually just was influenced by a TikTok to pick up the I'm not sure exactly what it's called but it's the Charlotte Tilbury something cream and it's like a hundred dollars which i'm like okay this stuff better be insane magic if it's that expensive for a cream i don't know why i did it but i will keep you guys updated to see if it's worth the hype because i feel like all the best beauty gurus use the cream so i'm very excited i think it's coming in this week so i'll be sure to try it out in my week in my life vlog and if you guys are not already subscribed Definitely subscribe because usually I post week in my life, so Monday through Friday. Um, and they're pretty long vlogs. I feel like some people either hate or love long vlogs because I don't have to like think about what I'm watching next. Like it's an hour long vlog or 45, 35 minutes, so I don't have to think about what I want to watch next, if that makes sense. Kind of like a Netflix show. Okay, so next, before I forget, I'm gonna spray some perfume. I've been loving this. I think I unboxed it in one of my vlogs. It is the Ariana Grande Cloud Perfume. I've been obsessed with it. Like I actually just like spray it on me like before I go to sleep. It just makes me feel bougie and just good. Didn't realize I didn't blend it out all the way. <laughs> okay, brows are laminated, so we have to brush through them because after I wash my face, they get like back to normal but you always have to like brush through them and also the lashes. Let's get even dewier. We're gonna be using the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Dew Drops. This is what it looks like. And under your makeup, this stuff is like so good. And it feels really, really good. 
It's kind of like a gel base, I would say. I don't want to like overdo it with the skincare. Even though I honestly love like a 10 step skin routine, it's not necessary. <laughs> like I love the feeling of it, you know? But I don't want my skin to like freak out on me. Also, I've been noticing that there's so many, what's it called? It's like crinkles or like just weird things in my hair. It's the first time I straightened my hair in so long, so just bear with me. I don't know why it's doing that. I didn't really like go through it like really, you know, meticulously, so that's okay. Um, what else? Oh, yeah. Scrunchie. I love me a good scrunchie. This one's from Invisibobble. I'm just gonna put it on my wrist for now because I know I'm gonna be wanting my hair up in there. And that is it. This sweatshirt is from Princess Polly and it was too perfect not to wear today. So I put that on, got some Lululemon cozy like jogger sweatpants on my bottoms and we are ready for the movies. I'm so excited. We already bought the popcorn like with the ticket so it could be cheaper I think or like I think there was like a combo. So I'm so excited for movie theater butter popcorn. You know your girl will have to be bringing her lactate pills because I'm super lactose intolerant, especially movie theater popcorn. You know, it does some stuff. So we are going to prevent all that today. I was hanging out with my friend Kiana on Friday and I told her we were going to Elvis and she was like, oh my God, wait, I wanna go. I was like, come on. And there was like literally the two seats right next to us. So I was like, perfect. So they're meeting us there. I am freaking stoked to see this movie. I feel like every time a musical of sorts, like I don't think this is really a musical, but Elvis, you know, is, he's a musician. So there's probably gonna be songs in this movie, but the last movie that I can think of that I was super obsessed with was The Great Showman. I cried like so many times. I already told Ryan I was gonna cry in this movie just cause I feel like stories like this are just so emotional and just so good. I feel like even if it's good, I cry. got back home from Elvis. What do you give it out of 10? Um, probably a 9. It's an 8. Like, it was really good, honestly. Yeah. I was expecting to cry and I didn't, so maybe that's a good thing or maybe that's a bad thing, but I, I didn't fall asleep. And <laughs> if you guys have watched my vlogs for long enough, I am a sleepy girl. And if it's a bad movie, I fall asleep. Yeah, if it's like a good movie... a good shower watching you fall asleep. Okay, yeah, but that's different because I'm like in my own home and like wanting to go to sleep but no it was a pretty good movie definitely recommend to see it but i will end the vlog here because tomorrow is monday and it is currently 11 p.m that movie was like almost three hours long and we had no idea um but i am gonna be starting back up my week in my life vlogs i'm super freaking excited about them i've kind of missed doing like the whole full week vlogs because i feel like i've just been doing days in my life because of just me being gone like random days out of the week if you guys are moving into a new apartment or just like wanting to refresh your space i definitely recommend checking out wayfair especially because it is their 20th anniversary and again they're going to be having so many good deals so i'll have more info about that linked in the description and i will see y'all in the next vlog bye